Howdy folks, and welcome back to Hilda. Today we're going to be watching Season 2, Episode 11, which is titled... Love this title. The Jorts Incident. Uh, a word that I don't believe any character has spoken out loud. They've consumed jorts, purchased jorts, had jorts in the scene several times in the series, but I don't think a character has ever said the word out loud. And I need, I need clean audio takes of every principal character. Uh, Hilda, David, Frida, Alpha, Joanna. I need Twig to gain the ability to speak magically for this episode, just to say, Hilda, I've been granted this wonderful ability to speak, and there's just one thing I need to tell you. Jorts. Uh, I need I need everyone to say it. I need to hear it. Uh, please and thank you. If I don't hear any character say it out loud, it's never going to happen. Uh, if not in an episode called The Jorts Incident, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the series finale, season three, it's like, oh no, we never had anyone say the word jorts out loud. And then every character, instead of saying like, bye, at the very end, just like they all like put their arms around each other and just say jorts. Uh, I'm going to be real pissed if it's actually pronounced jorts, given all the, uh, the Swedish stuff that's kind of in and about the series. Uh, I believe in Swedish, uh, it's, uh, the J's are pronounced like a Y, kind of like that. Uh, I'm gonna be real pissed if it's actually yorts, uh, and that's what we get. I, I might stop watching this series. Um, no, I won't, actually. Uh, and actually, uh, one other quick peek behind the scenes here. Typically, you know, as I'm going through two different series at the same time, I tend to alternate them. I'll watch an Adventure Time, I'll edit it, I'll watch a Hilda, I'll edit that, back to Adventure Time, you know, other side stuff in there, a Bluey here and there, uh, murder drones that, that just happened as I'm recording this. Uh, but here, here I am watching two Hildas in a row, basically, because number one, the title is so intriguing, uh, the Jorts incident, uh, but number two, I, I feel like I'm just in generally a better headspace to watch Hilda over Adventure Time tonight, aka I'm a little tiny little bit tired and don't want to be bombarded with all this brand new lore in the Islands miniseries, so forgive me for that, I'll get back on track, not that it matters for anyone because they're all going to come out the normal schedule anyway. It's not like I'm gonna swap them for just this week, right? Uh, oh, that's how I edited them. Uh, but no, I just I just really want to watch Hilda. I love this show. I, I say this every week. Uh, it's been incredible this season, especially this chunk of the season. We only have three episodes left in season two, then a movie. I'm starting to get the internal feeling like, oh my God, we're really coming up to the end of the show. Even though it's another, what, three months worth of videos or so? 12, eight, plus three, plus a movie. So yeah, 12 episodes to go 12 pieces of content to go for the show so about three months so it's there's still quite a bit of hilda to go but i'm starting to get that feeling that i get every show i watch like oh my god i'm really really coming to the end here holy smokes so hey either way today let's uh let's just enjoy some jorts shall we uh, i think i've asked one one time what we think jorts taste like and kind of the general consensus i got was probably like almost like a cheese it kind of some kind of a cheesy snack uh, it's kind of kind of what what we were feeling for that um hey thanks for watching this video uh, if you haven't done so yet make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video i'm starting to see here and there i'm starting to see youtube kind of present videos in my timeline to me as saying like here's how many likes this video has as opposed to views like it's always been so now more than ever for especially for your smaller creators you watch myself other reactors, make sure you click that click that like button for when YouTube decides to just, you know, kind of show people the likes. There's more likes there to hopefully, uh, hopefully convince people to watch because, uh, you know, likes are always so much less than views. And so I sometimes I'll see it and I'm like, ooh, only a, a couple hundred likes or whatever on like a bigger creator. But it's like, no, it's just a brand new video. It has thousands of views. Like there's nothing wrong with the video or anything. It's just that like, Presenting presenting it with likes is just such a bad idea in YouTube, and hopefully, I don't know, maybe they're not doing that by the time this video actually comes out, but I've started to see it just this past week, uh, and I, I do not like it. Uh, so, hey, that's that's my little YouTuber YouTube spiel for the day. Make sure you're liking uh, the Creators You Likes videos. Please and thank you. They ask this every time because it really does help with metrics and discoverability, and especially if that's a metric that they're wanting to show people to help you click on a video, please. Uh, if you want to be ahead, I'm about two weeks ahead on everything. Uh, who knows, if I get the Hilda bug, I might just watch more Hilda. Probably not, I'm gonna get caught back up on Adventure Time. But, uh, about two weeks ahead, if you want to head over to the Patreon, support the channel a little bit further, and, uh, get uncut, unedited reactions, uh, pretty much as soon as I watch them, 
I'll link to that in the description, as well as links to go follow my, me on Twitch and join up on my Discord server. And now, maybe the longest Hilda intro, Hilda intro we've ever had out the way. Let's get started with Hilda Season 2, Episode 11, The Yorts Incident, starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, another cold open. They're hitting us with so many of those. There's those tide mice again. Ooh, interesting. We haven't really seen them aside from just kind of in the background of a couple shots here and there. Oh, the trolls. I'm trying to hear this news report now at this point. And it's just like ever so like in the background on one little side. I'm trying to figure out if they're still keeping their kind of, you know, one of them kind of whistled and sang. The other had kind of a bell chiming kind of noise. See you later. Right? One was for David singing. The other was for uh, Joanna with her art and everything. Jorts. The Jorts truck is here. Whoa there, miss. You all right? That's a southern sounding gentleman. Bus is late. Phew. Sorry about this. Or it came early, and you missed it already. Uh, hold up. You oh. forgot your bag, miss. Did he sneak a bag of jorts in there for her? Why does that guy look like David? Is this a time-traveling David? Hello oh. There. He time-traveled and lost his accent. It looks kind of like him. <laughs> just don't tell my supervisor. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, he just put that back in the... Right back in the box, that open bag. Uh-oh. He's gonna get all the promotions. Interesting, that was quite a long cold open scene. The show keeps debating me. It gives me a couple, so I start to think, okay, cold opens, it's a thing that the show does. And then they don't give it to me for like eight episodes or something. Then all of a sudden, I feel like the last three, there have been little cold opens here. I'm probably gonna get used to them, and then the se uh, season finale is gonna have no cold open. Granted, it is a longer episode, so who knows. The Jorts Incident. I'm starting to see what that incident might be. Gel, Gel, are you there? Uh, uh yep, yep. Just, I told uh, you, call me David. Drunk. Apparently, the head of distribution wants to see you. Me? If he gets a sudden promotion, I'm wondering if those mice still have any kind of, like, yep. If they still have any kind of, uh, latent power that they're willing to imbue into this guy. That's my, my internal jorts counter. Also, I gotta pause because, yo, <laughs> she's playing like jorts invaders. It looks like space invaders, but instead of the little aliens, it's it's little jorts. That's wonderful. Um, I'm remembering when we first saw jorts, I, I pitched a commercial for jorts that was like a Bart Simpson, like, a, you know, he used to say, eat my shorts as I don't know if he still does. Simpsons is still on, right? The show that will never die. Uh, Bart Simpson, one of his catchphrases was, eat my shorts, man, right? Uh, at least back in the day. I don't know if he still says it. Uh, and he also famously advertised Butterfinger. Uh, and say, hands off my Butterfinger, man. Uh, and I, I always just thought that uh, uh, Bart Simpson in a jorts commercial would say, don't eat my jorts. And little did I know, theorizing this little jorts commercial way back in season one, we would be blessed with an actual jorts commercial here in season two. Uh, that is three jorts, by the way. I'm keeping count in my head. Unfortunately, none of our principal cast. So once again, Hilda, David, Frida, everybody else, I still need clean takes of the word jorts. Say it with me. Jorts. Thank you. Gil, <laughs> come in, sit down. I've been watching you, Gil. Like in a surveillance kind of way? <laughs> Come join me by the window. In a stalker kind of way? Look out there, Gil. What do you see? And why does she look like a future version of Frida who's also lost her accent? World's out there and it's begging me to explore it. Oh. The great big world is calling me, Gil. I'm going to need someone to stand up and take my place. Interesting. Stand up, Gil. I am standing. Sit up a little straighter, <laughs> yes, Tallman. Yes, you are. Now, if you could just sign here. Okay. There you go. Is he now like the CEO? You're going to do great here, Gil. I can tell. Well, I'm off. Wait, literally just... 
Oh, okay. She also leaves a, a little uh, wily coyote as she hits the ground. I thought he was drawing jorts. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, they're making little mice babies. That sucks. That's what they're building the nest for. What are you drawing there? Oh, I just like to doodle a bit. <laughs> An ideas man! We could use someone like you in marketing! All of a sudden their stock price just like, pew! Hey there guy, how would you like to be the new VP of product development? Promoted, again? What the hell is this? How long? Oh. Yo, people have consumed them. What do you say when a witch sneezes? Wait. The hell och sail. Also, gazuntite. Ask me another one. There you are. The committee of three would like to see you at once. Uh oh. Committee of three what? Witches? Witches? I don't think I'm ready to meet a real witch. Uh, David. Uh, David, the librarian's a witch. Did he not know? <gasps> Has he. Earlier in. Earlier in the season, he missed out on the Lindworm and had to meet her after the fact, after everyone had their adventure. But I guess he really hasn't been around with any of the witch magic kind of stuff. Just straight up wasn't there during the... I mean, you context clues, man. You've been in the library. She's definitely shown up and been all mysterious and everything. And Come on, context clues, buddy. Hello, Freda. How's your studying coming along? Fine, thanks. Yo, hey, David. You want to see the pit that needs to feed? I don't even, I'm so scared, I don't even know. Who am I? Who am I? That's David. Oh, relax, boy. You're not the one in trouble. So somebody is in trouble? No, but that pit's going to open up underneath all, all of you, though. But I've been in the library all day. I haven't had the opportunity for mischief. I, I, I... Yo, go and ham on those jorts. My so that's some loud crunching for the library. Keep it down, lady. Tide mice? That was ages ago. We completed the disenchantment spell and everything. Apparently not. Maybe we should send her into the juvenile void. <sighs> that's a bit hard. Oh, hi, Tildy. News really travels fast around here. <laughs> Which is gossip. Let's go while they're distracted. You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. You're just in a... Oh yeah, she's like, I, I live for the, I live for the drama. I need to stay here and watch this play out. A good jorts to you. Was that a, a fourth jorts? Did she say good jorts to you? Didn't forget to feed them the morsel of jorts friend, pub. Well, technically, but just for Yo, a jorts are literally taking over the world, huh? Magic. If we can find the tide mice and bring them to the committee, maybe we can fix it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Our finest vintage. <laughs> Yo, all right, at least there is wine in the glass. I literally thought, like, from that earlier shot in the window, I thought he was, like, pouring the jorts into the wine glass. Like, a finest vintage. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, though. At this, like, Michelin star restaurant or whatever. Yes, the jorts today are splendid, I, I do say. You know, all of this could have been avoided if you had just read the footnotes. A nest? But what are these gold thingies? Oh, definitely tied my stroppings. Ugh. Why do they smell like jorts? <laughs> Twig's like, this sucks, actually. You just made me smell some shit. You did check your pack? Look, more droppings. Ugh. No tied mice. Gotta clean that thing out. The also, are those bloops now. on there on the floor? Oh, David, With the fish on them? Those. What? I'm not going to leave perfectly good bits of gold just lying around. Wait, are they actually gold? Uh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. Interesting way to retread a season one episode. Cool. Interesting. Good Save spell. Yourself. Frida can open doors. <laughs> they could use that for such evil Hello? if they wanted to. Hello! Keep it down, please. This is a library after all. Random guy, new CEO of Jorts. But I think the Oracle might be of some assistance. It's me. Not who, what? It's me. Although they're changing the name to the Jorts Gazette starting next week. All right, there's and there's Jorts one Jorts for her. Jorts has gone from a local there's Hilda. To a multinational snack empire. I'm getting it. I'm Quite getting simply, it. I'm getting what I wanted. Gone Jorts mad. Another from Hilda. I think I know this guy. I saw him at the bus stop this morning. But he was the delivery man. 
This explains Yo, so much. can you tell me about the, the sports, though, Hilda? Are the Astros going to make the playoffs future. again? That's Please, I need to know. All over the place. There's Frida. Oh, this talk of jorts has made and David, happy. yes. All right, I just need Alpha. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's for cold. <laughs> oh. We need to get those pesky rodents back as soon as possible to perform the disenchantment. But how are we going to find this Jort CEO? There's an address on the back of the bag. I lost count of all the huh. Jorts, by the way. Oh, also, also, you know, the big ass building in your city that says Jorts on it. Well, unfortunately, Alpha isn't with them on this quest, so I don't know if we're going to get him saying jorts. Yo, that's creepy. The once normal advertisement is now just like going fucking nuts on the wall. Oh, everybody. Come on. Good God. That is typical office work life, right? I've been at a job where I felt like that. Fertile breeding ground for tide mice. All that greed. Then we better rethink mm. our strategy. Greed, ambition. Yo, are we about to play Luigi's Mansion? Also, hey, it's that uh it's that very British vacuum cleaner with the smiley face on it. I I saw I knew someone who used that as like their profile picture for stuff back in the day. And I never knew what it was until I actually went to London and just kind of walking around, I saw I saw that vacuum like in a store or something. I was like, oh, it's real. It's a thing. Uh, it's it's just a, a vacuum with a, a smiley face on it. And I wish, you know, I wish our appliances here in the States were as friendly as that. But unfortunately, we can't have nice things. Uh, but, yo, if we're about to play some Luigi's Mansion right here, like with David, you know, David, the perfect Luigi archetype here. Uh, Hilda! Like, scared. Mario! Uh, that's the best thing about Luigi's Mansion is that you had a dedicated Mario button that just if you're just walking from like one end of the mansion to the other, you could just mash the A button and he says, Mario, Mario, ma -ma -ma Mario. It's so good. Uh, but yeah, if, if we suck up all these mice here, like piece by piece, great reference if so. If we're going to catch all the mice, we'll have to split Yo, they're up. even wearing like <laughs> Ghostbusters <laughs> gear. Let's go. <laughs> what is this? Yo, this hits. This is so good. Why am I in the office at night? Oh no. That's tragic. Yo, all right, you don't have to be all extra with it doing the flips. From the people that brought you jorts, new jumbo jorts! You can eat them oh. and wear them! Get your jorts! <laughs> <on. laughs> Yo, that's actually, that's just Alpha size. That's him holding up a normal jort. Yo, how long do you think it takes Alpha to eat a single jort, <laughs> by the way? Yo, they're literally everywhere. David, you're supposed to vacuum it, not- Oh no, that sucks! Yo, that's tight. Something of an Owl House reference with a uh, what? Gus would ride his broom, uh, like that. <sighs> I haven't had this much fun since I don't know when. Since you ever. This fun. I don't get out much. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get out much. She was literally at her residence Library? slash job at night Call reading the newspaper. Glad I could help, Kaiser. Aw, look at that blush. The original too, right? Interesting. I love that it wasn't even this guy's like ambition or something he was like trying to do. It just happened to him. Oh, tragic haircut. Yo, we've all been there, huh? Oh, ugh. I thought they were trying to get back. What good is that going to do? I lost them in the vent. They're gone. We are likely to see this happen all over again. Who knows what it will be next time. Yo, they'll just move one building over and go to the Bloops Corporation. I might be able to help. Oh yeah. Come on, come get your jorts. Turns out they really like these things. Huh. Thank you. I 
know this is going to and now if you don't come with us to perform a magic disenchantment i might accidentally take possession of your soul for all eternity tidevice i'll round it up oh just drop it on the floor and these two they're the ones who started it all well i am really you've shown bravery and responsibility which given your recklessness has served you well we will help you undo what you have done. Oh, and thank God. we won't send you to the juvenile void. For now. Oh, thank God. We can't overlook your transgression. Oh, thank God. Oh, wait. Uh, not you, Freda. Come along. Oh. Sorry, but David, you can fuck right off. This might hurt a little bit. What? <laughs> also, magic is real, buddy. Are we going to wipe his memory of all of this? He just wakes up the next day. He's like, when did I make hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever currency they use? They're gone. Oh, the initial. I hope that doesn't officially be really bad for Joanna. Mm, David. David. What? It's really good. Ugh. It is good. Come on, let's go. I think I've had enough jorts for one day. Let's leave them to it. I still need Alpha to say it. No, not the Bloops truck. I, yo, I was right. Bloops are next to take over the world. Morning. Wanda's Wild Adventures. Oh, that's cool. The, uh, whatever mid-level manager it was then. Nice. That was a that was a fun one. I don't know if I'd say that that was a really really good one, but it was a lot of fun. A, a lot of, of cool little references. You know, I've I've been really big onto jorts ever since we first saw them. I've been just I just at the very least I wanted a character to say the word out loud, and I got that in spades today. I'm so happy for that. Uh, the Luigi's Mansion Ghostbusters references uh, were a lot of fun. Uh, it just. You know, just seeing Kaisa again, she's just a really fun uh, secondary character. Uh, and, you know, bring David along for some of the magical adventures. He seemed to be, you know, aside from uh, creating a bunch more of the mice and uh, initially being a little uh, not into it, I think he had an okay time. And, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a crush on, on the librarian. You know, now that makes two of them. I still had canon that Hilda has a huge crush on Kaisa. Uh, and that's why, you know, at least earlier in the series, she was hanging out at the library. There hasn't been too much library. This season aside from the actual library librarian episode the witch i think it was titled uh hasn't been too much of of their library adventures uh, maybe she's like okay now we have an in with her i don't have to go hang out at the library i can just kind of roll up and be like hello friend uh so that's you know that's that's still up there in my head canon but now you know a little bit of a triangle and then she's like i'm like 10 years older than you children um you know, you know, children always have, you know, crushes on people older than them, you know, when they're coming up. So ain't going to blame Hilda for that one or David. So, uh, yeah, really fun episode. Like I said, the music was phenomenal. I loved that, that piece right in the middle. I hope I get to include a bunch of that on YouTube. YouTube has been a little bit rough as far as the copyright for some of the background music for Hilda. Uh, typically those kind of big bombastic action set piece music have tended to be fine. It's mostly the kind of quiet subdued subtle ones like at night time or when a character is being very pensive those are the ones that tend to get flagged the most the big bombastic none of the stuff in the middle of the episodes like uh when we were on the seafaring voyage with the woodman whatever song was playing didn't really get flagged uh, the songs with lyrics tend not to i know this one didn't really it had vocal percussion almost in it uh, but no actual words from what I, it might have i just don't remember i was just too busy smiling and having a fun time uh, so I hope I can include some of that. So I'm not just sitting here going like, ooh, this music hitting. And then just like you just hear. That's it. Um, that's going to be absolutely tragic if so. So sorry for that. Uh, but the music was phenomenal in that middle of the ghost busting segment. Um, just, you know, even the fact that they were wearing like the, the gray brown kind of jumpsuits uh, was, was just so much fun. The vacuums for Luigi's Mansion, like I said, it was just it was just a lot of fun. Had a big smile on my face like the whole time. Uh, like I, I started to say, but didn't really get too much uh, else out about it, a uh, really interesting way to retread a season one episode. It's like, same problem in a completely new environment with, 
you know, very similar stakes, but everything else was different enough to where it was still interesting. The first one was, you know, kind of a character study on the characters we know and love and wanting to see them, you know, succeed at what they're trying to do, but at a price. Uh, whereas this one was now just people we have no interest in, no connection to. Now we have to save the day and it's a big action set piece kind of thing. Uh, so it was, you know, tonally a very different episode than the first Tide Mice one. So. The fact that we disenchanted them and we have both Joanna's drawing and David's little pitch whistle uh, left back with us, which is what I'm assuming we were supposed to get back the first time. I'm really hoping that doesn't mean that Joanna's going to lose her job and, well, the Warblers thing hasn't been a really big thing. It's not like that's been a big part of David's life this season since that happened in season one. Uh, so, you know, if he loses his spot or whatever, becomes clumsy again. Oh well, I'm more concerned about Joanna on this front, so I'm, I'm really, really hoping that this doesn't lead to like, you know, the next episode, uh, I think I, I saw it's titled The Replacement, so I hope it's not Joanna losing her job and someone else replacing her at her own position. That would suck, uh, it'd be a really wild way to kind of continue the, the plot line here. Uh, seemingly not even at all. Yes, we had a bit of the news report with the trolls and stuff, uh, but... You know, that was, that was just very so subtly in the background, and we haven't seen Eric Alberg in any real capacity in quite a while since we had the whole bell, automatic bell ringer saga a couple episodes ago. So uh, typically I feel like we'd probably be building up to that, but with, I guess now this was 11, right? So we have 12 and 13. Uh, I feel like we should be building up to a big Eric Alberg kind of thing, but this was, you know, just something completely different. And if, if somehow I call completely what the next episode actually is, then, you know, completely also not Eric Alberg and troll related stuff anyway. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but I have, like I said earlier, I have two Adventure Time videos to watch here in the meantime and, uh, record and edit and all that. So it might be a while before I get back to Hilda, but you know... As tired and kind of low energy as I was feeling, you know, I think I was pretty excitable during this one. Uh, you know, it helps that it was just a lot of fun, right? Uh, so, and here I am, my brain is just sparking all a light, coming, coming up with ideas, like episode fan fiction I'm essentially writing in my own mind, uh, of my own copyright me <laughs> episode of Hilda, not my property. Um, but hey, that's, that's, that's just what happens sometimes when you sit down and record these. Uh, I, th I believe it was at the end of To Pimp a Butterfly, Kendrick Lamar, in his uh, the little interview segment that they edited together of him interviewing Tupac, uh, where he, at one point, he says something like, man, sometimes I just get up on stage and I don't know what kind of energy is going to come out of me. It's kind of the same when you sit down to record a reaction. Here I was tired saying, like, I hope this isn't just a sluggish, low energy kind of one. But here I was going like, jorts, 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 the whole time. And was just... I don't know, super into it. So I hope you were too. Uh, I guess in closing, I think I'm finally done rambling. I hope I was somewhat coherent here. I had a lot of fun watching this one. I hope you did too. So like I, like I was about to say, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this episode. Uh, anything else you want to tell? Give me some fake spoilers from the end of the season. We are coming right up on it uh, with some very lengthy things to watch up here upcoming. Uh, I better enjoy these normal length episodes while I can for a little bit because, you know, in just a little bit, just a 45 minute one and then an hour and however long movie. So a lot of editing to do coming up. Uh, but hey, I'm loving this show. I hope you are too. Like I said, don't forget to leave a like on your way out. And until next time, I'll catch you with some more Hilda. Take easy, everybody.